Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Matt Davenport. And I'm Marley Serby. Earlier this week, we told you about a state representative who supports defunding Boise State University for not supporting traditional Idaho values. KPVI News that works for you journalist Kate Garner has DSU's response to the bathroom fiasco. District 32 Representative Chad Christensen took to social media last week to urge his followers to sign a petition to defund Boise State University over its gender neutral bathrooms. So that's my main concern is people's you know, possible sexual assaults like that in a, in a bathroom, um, you know, voyeurism, sexual assaults and you know, false allegations. On Friday, BSU released a statement to KPVI addressing the issue saying, quote, for many years, Boise State, like other Idaho universities, has had restrooms across campus that are available to everyone. The bathroom that led Christensen to post on Facebook wasn't a family style gender neutral bathroom. He says he's fine with those. Family or, or you know, man or woman bathroom that's a single use bathroom and you lock the door behind you. Yeah, I have no problem with that. The university says many gender neutral bathrooms at the school are that type, saying, quote, for example, in the education building, there were so many more women than men. We converted many of the men's restrooms to lockable, all user restrooms. Many of these restrooms are also accessible to people with disabilities and have diaper changing stations. So they are truly designed for all users, which is consistent with our mission to serve all students. They are, generally speaking, single user lockable restrooms where the toilets and the sinks are all in the same enclosed rooms. Some are labeled all user. Some are simply labeled restroom. Christensen says it's not just the bathrooms at BSU that led to the petition to defund the school, but also classes like one on white privilege that are offered at the school. The Boise area is definitely more leftist than the rest of the state. And I think that, you know, I think that body of people is taking over BSU. And the issue I have is that taxpayers throughout the state pay for, pay for BSU. They pay for the, the college and, and it doesn't represent the whole, the, all the people of Idaho. Reporting in Ammon, I'm Kate Garner with KPVI News That Works For You. Christensen also says the petition is not intended to bully BSU, but put pressure on the university to better represent traditional Idaho values.